Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're gonna take a close look on this new FPV camera system from Ishe. This is the TX01S. This is the 25 milliwatt version. I want, actually want to test the TX02S but it's not out yet and as soon as it will be out I will have my hands on it. So inside the box we're getting this camera system. As you can see the camera and the VTX board is separated. We got this battery adapter, instruction manual, and that's it. As you can see, the output power is 25 milliwatt. It's not adjustable. The input power is between 2.5 to 5.5 volts. The field of view is 120 degrees, and the weight is 4.18 grams, so it's very light. And we're going to see how it compares to the TXO3 camera. This VTX features this brass antenna, which I really like because it's very durable. And because it's intended to be used with micro quadcopters, the range that I will need to achieve is not that far. And this antenna is lightweighted and durable and will probably be great with this VTX. Frequency switching is not displayed with a LED indicator like in the VTX O3. I think they did it in order to save some weight. So it's done by LED indicators and I will show you later how it's done when I will connect it to a battery. According to my weight, the weight is 3.9 grams, so this is extremely light. Just for example, only the weight of the VTX O3 is 2.91 grams. And if I will add the camera, it's 4.85 grams. So the TXO1S is 1 gram lighter. The weight of the TXO3 all in one camera is 5.35 grams. So the TX01S weighs about 1.5 grams lighter and for micro quadcopters it can be a big difference. On the back we have two LED group indicators. The top six ones represent the frequency and the bottom eight ones represent the channels. Switching between channels and frequencies is done by this small button. If you short press it, it changes between the channel and if you long press it, it switches the frequency you can refer to the frequency table and you can see that you have here the frequency and the channel. They messed it up a little bit in the instruction manual. So let me show you how the LED indicators works. The left one, this one is red number one and the top one is blue LED number one. So for example, I would like to set it up on FET Shock 7. So the band has to be four and the channels has to be seven. So let's set it up. So let's scan it and see we are on the correct band. So you can see we are on the correct band. This is 5869, so it's F7 and it's the one we set on the LED indicator. So again, the bottom left one is LED one and the top left one is blue one. So it will help you to set it up when you want to put your correct band and channel. The camera looks pretty good. It's pretty hard to judge and see if the quality is better or worse than the TXO3. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put this camera on my new Fire 80 and take it for a test flight. 